Hi, um, this is Leon from Graduate School of Engineering Science, Osaka University. Um, thank you for watching today's video. Today's topic is adaptive visualization of gas distribution using augmented reality glasses. So the gas detection is really important or it's very necessary since the gas leak is hazardous to health and environment since some of them are toxic and some of them are flammable. Also, the leaking gas is harmful to atmosphere since its ozone depletion potential and the global warming potential. Most gases are invisible and some gases are odorless. So it's difficult for people who are not familiar with gas measurement to predict how gases spread and where the source is. If the gas distribution is visible, we could predict the gas source easily and take a quick action to prevent the dangerous. A visual technology now famous is the augmented reality technology which is an interactive experience of a real-world environment. It's a combination of real and virtual space which can support a real-time interaction with the system and the users. It also contains the accurate three-dimensional registration of virtual and real object. Our research is based on a previous work, which wants to detect the methane gas distribution at the landfill site. So it firstly grades the target field into 0.2 by 0.2 meter cells, and the robot, which holds the methane detector, will detect the target field and finally produce a 3D gas concentration graph by introducing the gas distribution mapping algorithm. So the mapping graph is showed as the top right picture. But the problem here is when the walkers wants to combine the mapping graph and the real landfill scene, it sometimes will confuse the walkers to find out the actual location of the gas distribution, even the gas source position. In the previous work, the laser gas detector we use is laser methane. The laser methane is based on the utilization of laser absorption spectral photometer of methane gas for gas measurement. The system detects natural gas leaks by emitting a laser at particular wavelengths and analyzing the light reflected back from the ground to determine how much was absorbed by the methane in the natural gas. The measured gas volume is expressed by the methane column density, which is methane density, the ppm, uh, multiplied by the thickness, the m, the meter. So as shown in the picture here, we can see if the density here is 200 ppm, but the thickness of the gas is only half a meter. So the final value shows in the detector is only 100 ppm, which is equal to the result of the gas whose density is 100 ppm and the thickness of it is 1 meter. Here is another research about the gas visualization called the gas camera. It's a remote detection system that provides video images of gas clouds displayed in front of a picture of the target. The system employs infrared, a sensitive focal plane array in combination with bandpass filters for detecting gas cloud in air. But however, the problem of this system is since it can detect several or multiple species of the gas, it's hard to distinguish 
what kind of the gas is detecting right now. Another thing is it only can detect the intense gas distribution. So if the target is a thin gas distribution, it cannot be shown in the camera also. So in this research, we want to help workers to get a nearly real-time visualization of gas distribution when they at real field and provide a real-time imperceptible gas information of the detected gas distribution. So our method to achieve this goal is, is introducing the augmented reality glasses in our system. The user will wear the AR glasses while using or holding the gas detector. The detected gas information will convert into the graphics visualization information. And finally, this graphics in visualization information will be displayed in the AR glasses view in front of the user. So, in our system, we can see there are two parts of the input, the gas data collection, which can collect all the data information we need of the target gas, and the motion data collection, which can collect the motion data of the user to calculate the gas distribution position. And all this data will be collected and packaged to send through the Wi-Fi connection to the AR glasses and show the models in the AR glasses. For the gas data collection, the first part we can see here, the right hand side is a laser gas detector, the Laser Methane Mini from the Tokyo Gas Corporation, which is also the same laser detector used in previous work. And for the left hand side, it's M5 stuck, the Wi-Fi connected microprocess, the ESP32 chip, which is in M5 stuck, can work as a Wi-Fi server and send all data via the UDP package to AR glasses. And between them, we use the serial communication to let M5 stuck collect all data from the gas detector. So to the next part, the gas visualization. The AR glasses or the hand-mounted display, the HMD, will work as a client. In this research, we use HoloLens first generation as visualization display. So it can receive all data sent from the server and all calculations the position of the gas, also the color, the size of the models will work in the HoloLens. Finally, we will display the models in the HoloLens view. We developed five parameters of the models to show each characteristics of the estimated gas distribution. The text, color, size, transparency and position. So the text will directly show the row time density value in the view and the color will show the concentration of the models, which means that the darker color is the higher concentration and vice versa. Also the size of the model since as we mentioned before, the target field will grade it into 0.2 by 0.2 meter cells. So for each cell or each grade, is the one unit of size of the model. The transparency also means the variance of the gas distribution. The transparent model means the lower variance of the gas distribution. And the solid model means the higher variance of the gas distribution. And the position of the model is directly mapped by the actual position of the gas distribution in the real world. So what the user will see from the HoloLens is at the top 
left corner is attached, which shows a current detected density value, and from the center of the field is a model of the gas. It contains the position, color, size, and the variance information of the gas distribution, our target. And under the model, here is a virtual plane, places on real ground, which supports a shadow of model to make the view feel more real. So as we can see in the picture, the plane and model, they are the visualization we made, which is a virtual object. And the background around this visualization is the real thing in the world. We also developed the three different types of models, the ball, the cloud, and the bar. So as we can see, the color of the each type of the models change from the white, which means low concentration, to the red, which is a high concentration. And also, the size of models change for, depends on different concentration value. For ball and cloud, its diameter will change from 0 to the 0.2 meter, and the height of the bar will change from 0. The details like how it will change will show in the later example video, but further detail the calculation part, please read our paper. So the example here we use three different concentration value of the methane gas. From left to right is the air, the 37 ppm concentration, and 10,000 ppm concentration. So, in the video, as we can see, the top left corner shows the current gas density value from detector directly. The green point, which is the laser emitted by detector, shows where the detector is pointing. And also, the height of the bar is changing depends on the current concentration value. So, <clears throat> for the future work, the first thing we will do is visualizing the dynamics gas flow with convolving air flow detection and gas diffusion simulation. Secondly, we will find out the most noticeable parameters, so for surveillance purpose from 5 meters, the text, color, size, transparency, and position. As a summary of today's video, we want to help workers to get nearly real-time visualization of gas distribution when they add real field and provide a real-time perceptible gas information by combining the augmented reality technology and the gas detection. And as the conclusion of today's research is at the three versions of visualization techniques, the bar, the ball, and the cloud, we will find out the suitable visualization technique that allows the worker to observe the gas distribution. Thank you.